and that's pretty much how I got into real estate. Um, started out selling double glazing. That's white gold. <laughs> did did that for a, <laughs> did that for a while, uh, and I, I mean a serious while, a good couple of years, and I was pretty to make good money. at it. Yeah, I was pretty good at it. Um, it was almost like the, a university was going on. Well, I left school early. So I was uh, 15 when I left school. Um, I did my GCSEs, but I didn't turn up to take them. <laughs> yeah. like when you have to get, get there, because I, I didn't really want to do that. Um, yeah. I wanted to get involved quickly. And sales had always been a big passion for me. Uh, a, a side note, as a breaking point, I was massively into the psychology of sales as young as like 11 mm. And I remember being around 12 and asking my mum, there was something at the day called Amway, right? Amway was a set of tapes. Proper old school. Yeah, that could teach you how to sell. And Amway used to sell like Tupperware. And, you know, it was like, you know, so it's pottery. Yeah. So they would, they would make this stuff, this company Amway, they would deliver it to you. You would buy it on bulk and you would sell it on. But what they were really good at doing was teaching you hmm. how to sell it on how to make kind of money like avon lady avon lady yeah exactly the yeah. same yeah and i i asked one christmas for some avon some avon <laughs> i asked one christmas did. for some amway tapes and um they turned up in august because my mum didn't realize it had to ship from the states and it took forever back then it was six months it turned up and i became obsessed with them listening to them and it taught me more about sales and people than I think going to school ever did and that's kind of where the passion for sales started and the the, the thing you, you was talking about you know that into you know double glazing yeah. that kind of industry at the moment and there was loads of people doing it and I, I used to make good money out of it and I always look back at them days now canvassing you know in the rain and when it's hot and doing whatever with a little pen in my hand and notebook and knocking on people's doors and asking to prospect mm. to their face. I always look back at them years now and now I know I was actually going through my type of university where other people were going to uni and doing stuff. That was my, that was my, that I was learning on the job and that created a desire and a passion probably because I was looking at front doors all the time, <laughs> um, that, that led me into real estate. And I think that that has been solely responsible for me changing the career from double glazing into real estate was sales. Yeah. And it's the ability to be involved in sales. That's, so long answer yeah. short, that has always been the passion it's always been about sales. It just so happens that real estate yeah. is the highest price point I can get 